All right, this right here is a 12 volt jewel D charger. Except uh, right now it's just running off a double A battery. And I uh, just wanted to show it because a lot of people apparently want to know how to uh, get a jewel thief to run on 12 volts. And it's easy to do that. It's just you don't you don't want to use a normal jewel thief that's made for a double A battery because of the ohms of the the coil. So you want to use a bigger coil. So it, you know, a great way to do that is to find a transformer, like an audio transformer like this. Now, this is another one I'll make. This just happened to be the biggest one I had. <clears throat> so I used uh, two of the windings to make the circuit. Uh, another winding just as an indicator, which will inductively light an LED to give me an indication of the pulses. But once again, it's pretty cool because it can be uh, turned down to a very low frequency. So you'll see LEDs are lit when I tune it. See, so I can get it to blink. That's a pretty low frequency. Okay. Okay, now <coughs> try it from uh, 12 volts. I'm going to run it from 12 volts now. I've got my 12 volts hooked up. Even at 12 volts, see the pulse. It's very slow. It wants to burn out those LEDs, which is what it's doing. So I'm not going to use LEDs. I'm going to use this microwave oven bulb instead. So now I'm using this bulb as the load. You can see the LED is actually still blinking as an indicator. So it's a, a slow pulse right now. Turn it up. See how that lights up. Microwave oven bowl. So clearly, works. Let me try, uh, try hooking up this speaker. See what that does. It'll pulse. Serious pulse. Try the uh, double A again.
Red Cross, and that's all they need is 50 drones off the landing in Zimbabwe. Once again, oh, this is the, uh, the run battery voltage. Really drained. But you can see the run battery is jumping up and down because of the pulse. Let me show you the pulse first. That is the pulse right now. It's going into this charge. So you can see the, the voltage is jumping up and down for pulse. Same thing on the charge battery. This is the charge battery. It's almost like it's uh, being cat post almost in a way. So if I cut it down, if I cut it down, the voltage is going to shoot back up because it's drawing so much, uh, so much less in a steady current. There it goes. Then uh, 1.3 it was at. 1.266. If I disconnect the run, and you can see it shoot back down. Hook the run back up, shoot back up. So you can see it's charging. It is interesting. If I turn it down to get the pulse, now it's pulsing it with more current. Pretty cool. Alright, here's an, here's the other one, the low frequency one I was working on before. I put a 3055 on it, 2 in 3055. And I've got it running from 5 volts right now. You can see that it's lighting this neon, I mean this uh, fluoro. And as I adjust the resistance, you can kind of see the different colors, hues that it takes on, depending on what it's feeding, uh, what I'm feeding it. This is not fully kickstarted. I'm pretty sure with 12 volts it'll be really bright. See, it kind of changes in color. It's a very, that's a very slow pulse. Speed it up a little bit. Once they catch a good frequency, where it'll light up pretty nice. Right about, right about there. So that was pretty cool though. So that's that's basically using Transformer Jewel Thief and then you have a uh, high voltage secondary that's basically just a flyback winding for higher voltage. That's how you would light a fluorescent if you ask me. From 12 volts. Also great little charger. This little guy right here, great little charger. From 1.5 to uh, 12 volts.